Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a quick little Walmart and mini Dollar Tree haul. Um, I needed a few things and then I saw the back to school clearance and I saw the uh, Halloween stuff and I got some cool stuff. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. So I'm gonna start with Dollar Tree because I only got two things, so <laughs> it's very small, but I just want to show you what I got. So the first one, and I've seen these before. They've had these for the past, like, three or four years, and I always pick some up. Little ghost tea lights for my little, um, I have little, like, tea light holders. And, uh, they're just too cute. And they have, like, a, you know, flickering effect. They're super cute. The only issue is that I forget that they're on, and I don't turn them off, and then they die. But, you know. It is what it is. So that's the first thing. And then this, I was really excited about finding at Dollar Tree. This is a B6 insert. So I saw it and now I'm getting pretty good at like eyeballing. Like I can tell just by looking um, if, you know, what size something is. So I could tell this was about five by seven. And I knew that this would be good to have on hand if I, um, you know, for when I finish up my, um, current, you know, journaling insert, my mood tracking insert, um, my memory keeping. So I'd like, I'm always going to eventually need another one. So if I can find one for a dollar, um, yeah. And it's got gold foil. It is just so pretty. All right. And now Walmart. So the first few things are boring, but I wanted to share just because at least at my local Walmart, um, they have a really good price on, on these tape runners, these Elmer's tape runners. This is what I normally used to buy, you know, on Amazon or, um, Michael's, but it was, it was pretty cheap. I can't remember the exact price right now, but, um, they had a really good price on these tape runners. And these are the tape runners that I, uh, currently use just for, you know, gluing down, um, or taping down. <laughs> Um, photos and things and my memory keeping book and it's just always good to have one on hand and since the price was so good I got two and I also ended up getting a um, extra strength glue stick just in case I had something that I wanted to use a glue stick instead of a tape runner just another like something to keep on hand because I I've been out of like tape runner and glue um, and I have a glue but I'm not crazy about it so I wanted to get a glue stick so just, you know, something to have on hand. Um, this was pretty exciting. So I found these in the clearance section. You can see they were $2.27. And I love UV as a brand. I love not only their, like, aesthetic, but also, you know, their, um, like, their values. So they, you know, it says here, these stickers donate one item to a classroom in need. So basically when you buy something from UV... For every UB item you buy, a UB item will be donated to a classroom in need in this country. Um, which is pretty cool. You know, they donate to Kids in Need Foundation in the U.S. and other charities outside of the U.S. So, it's pretty cool. Um, and I just thought these were just so cute. Like, these are, like, come on. I, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. This sticker made me think of my friend Queen. So, shout out to Queen's Fancy Plans. Subscribe to her on, uh here on YouTube if you have not. She's awesome. Next, oh my god, I've been looking for these everywhere. So this was the very last one. Um, and I know they put these out like around back to school time. And I saw someone here on YouTube had shared about these and how they um, use them in their planner. So my current plan, I don't have anything in my B6 um, to like hold things like random you know and I have like obviously like little um you know pockets to put things in and stuff but in my cover um but I really just wanted like a little zipper to put like loose you know stickers or things just from like I have nowhere to put this um and plus it's cute so um I have the three sizes here so I'm probably going to put one in my b6 um and put one in my catch-all and then just hold on to the other one for for a rainy day um, but what I'm going to do is for my catch-all, since it's disc bound, I'm going to just use my punch and just punch it and put it right in there. So this was a dollar for three of these, uh, these bags. So pretty excited that I found this. Again, it was the last one, at least that I could find. This next thing, 
I needed this, like I need a hole in the head, but I found some bat confetti in the Halloween section at Walmart. And it's black on one side and this beautiful hollow on the other side. Um, what am I going to do with this? Or actually, I lied to you. Oh my god, I didn't realize. So half of it's hollow and half of it is black glitter. And you can see the black glitter is already coming off and making a, a freaking mess. Um, but what I'm going to do is, and it's already coming out of the bag. Oh boy. Um, what I'm going to do, at least my current plan is I'm going to, um, I've been like really enjoying making dashboards for my uh, B6TN and I have an upcoming project um, that I'm going to be sharing on here. I've talked a little bit about it on my Instagram stories, make sure you follow me there. Um, but I'm going to be doing a project, it's going to be a separate B6 Traveler's Notebook um, and I'm going to make it all about my favorite band and it's going to be like a scrapbook of sorts. And it's, you know, something I'm really excited about that I've wanted to do for a while. And I finally found, like, the format that I want to to use, um, which is the B6TN. So I've been making dashboards and things. And I was thinking about, you know, gluing a couple of these down. Particularly, um, if you don't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I don't think you would know. My favorite band in the world is My Chemical Romance. And Hi, uh, Editing Cassie here. I just wanted to uh, insert a hilarious clip of me on uh, Halloween 2019, which uh, fans know is the day that the band announced that they were having a reunion show. At that point, we didn't know if they were actually coming back or just playing one show and then, you know, riding off into the sunset. Turns out they are coming back and they were supposed to be touring this year, but then, you know, we all know what happened. Anyway. So, here's that clip. MCR just announced a reunion show. It's in LA on December 20th, and I'm going. I, I am numb. My legs, I can't feel my legs. I, I'm not exaggerating. They're doing a reunion show. So if you know anything about that band, this will make sense to you. Um, but I was thinking about putting these, like taping them down um, before I laminate my dashboard, um, particularly for like Bullets and Revenge era. I think that would be really cute. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, sorry, but <laughs> I, uh, I definitely will be using these. I'm, I may even like tape them down for my planner layouts like I'm I just I wanted to have, they're 98 cents and I was like and I ha I picked up one and then I walked away and I was like you're gonna hate yourself for not buying a second one so I'm probably gonna have these for quite a while I mean you get 24 so now I have freaking 48 bats which is awesome um so yeah that's that okay pro tip y'all and I am going to make a video on this as well so these are, they're called treat sacks, again, from Walmart, and they had some, you know, different uh, patterns. I really like this one um, with the spider webs, and I immediately, when I saw them, I thought I could cut these apart, and I could turn this into a dashboard. So I'm thinking about just using, you know, I'm just going to kind of like take it apart here and unfold this. Um very carefully. I'm not going to do it on camera because I'll probably screw it up. Um, but I'm thinking about just kind of unfolding this and laying it flat and then cutting it to size and using it um, as like a dashboard or just something decorative in my uh, B6. And then also um, I can use pieces of it like just as like a background for a photo when I'm memory keeping. Um, I could use it, you know, I could cut it out and, and tape it down um, my planner for a planner layout. I just, they were 27 cents. So I just, I, I have all these ideas in my head of how to use these and I will definitely make a video on um, how I'm going to use these, but I'm really excited and especially for 27 cents. I mean, it's freaking cheaper than Dollar Tree. Okay, this next thing, I lost my mind in the store, okay? This is uh, a wall decal. 
and you can see it has a crap ton of bats and it says happy haunting um the bats are like velvet like felt oh my god i am so excited about this so i'm not sure if i'm actually going to hang this up yet i know it sounds weird but um we're kind of going through a process of moving things are kind of on hold right now but i'm kind of like not hanging up new things and trying to um you know make it as easy on my future self as possible when we do move um but i wanted to pick this up because i know i will use it eventually even if i don't use the actual happy haunting piece and just have the bats um i just i couldn't resist it it's just way too cute um and then you know i would assume you know, I, I don't know. I've never used this exact brand of like a wall decal, but um, I have many wall decals and they are easily repositionable. I can, you know, peel them right off with no damage and stick them somewhere else. I have a few in here, um, but this was just way too cute. It was five bucks and um, yeah, I'm just really excited about it. A few more things here. Um, let me show you this first because this kind of ties in with the last thing I showed you so okay again did I need this absolutely not um but I absolutely could not resist these window clings because like look at them and look at like everything is just so cute look at him like are you kidding look at that it's a ghost dressed as a cat I mean, I don't know what I was, you know, what I was supposed to do. Um, it was 96 cents, so I didn't feel bad about it. Again, I don't, I don't know if I'm actually going to put these on my windows or if I'm going to use them for something else, but I had to have them. Um, again, even if I use them to create something for my planners, I mean, they're just, in reality, they're just stickers, right? I mean, it's just a, a thin sticker. Um, so you could just, like, tape it down and laminate it like there's a lot of things you could do with these um and so maybe i'll put a couple of them on my window but i'm not sure exactly how i'm gonna use them yet but they were just way too cute to not get for 98 cents like i just come on so this i'm really excited about so this is very obviously black cardstock um the brand is Astro Brights. Again, I found this at Walmart and um, it was about, I want to say it was like $8, something like that. And it's just black cardstock. And I thought, you know, again, all these ideas like sparked in my mind when I was looking at this stuff, but I thought about um, printing some of the um, designs that I've made for my dashboards for my MCR project. Um, on black paper because I want the back of them to be black instead of white So I'm going to see how that works out as far as printing um, If I don't like it, then I can always just take a piece of this black cardstock Use a tape runner and just tape it to the to the back of whatever I've printed on white paper um, And then laminate it together and then the back will be black So um, I will definitely keep you guys updated on how I use this but I just I, yeah, I had to have it. And then jumping off of that, I, oh my God, when I saw, when I found this in the store, I literally picked it up and hugged it. I was looking all over for this and I ended up finding it with, um, like the art supplies. So like not with back to school, not with the regular like office supplies, but it was with like art supplies and like fancy markers and like paint and stuff. So this is, um, just black paper and it's very very nice and what I was thinking because I've been really wanting to make at least one probably two or three um at least one uh insert for my b6 for this upcoming project with black paper because I have these you know white gel pens that I really want to use on this black paper um and I was thinking and it's even it's great because it's already perforated yeah, and it uh, rips pretty easily. This paper is is nice. Like, it's thick. Um, it's not, like, thin and cheap. And I ripped the edge. But that's okay because uh, I'm going to cut it anyway. But 
I'm thinking I'm going to trim these down, um, you know, get them to that five by seven B6 size and then kind of put them all together and staple it and have an insert. Um, and I just think that's a more cost effective way than, than buying all these inserts online and paying shipping and everything. Um, trust me, I, I do enough shopping online. So I thought this would be, uh, something fun to try out. You do get, um, 40 sheets and I just thought this would be, this would be fun. So that's, um, it's my black drawing paper. Very excited. Again, I will keep you guys updated on what I do with that and be sure to follow me on Instagram, um, to, you know, see more stuff. Um, just planning with cats over there as well. And then the last thing I'm really, really excited about because, um, and it seems like silly, but I don't have any stamps. I've never really used stamps. Um, and this kit came with the ink pad. Um, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Ink pad <laughs> and all these stencils. I have all the months. I have the days of the week. I have numbers. I have a checklist. I have little banners. Um, and I just thought like this was perfect. It was around $6. I remember which is not bad when you consider all the stuff you get with it. Um, I'm just going to open it up. I got to figure out exactly where I'm going to store these. Um, let's, let's take a look at it. So yeah, you have just, oh my gosh, like they're just so cute. And you have your little um, ink pad here. It is wrapped, so I'll have to open that up. But um, stamping is something I've always been interested in and... This is something that, so when I was using a planner, like not making my own layouts and doing like Bujo style in my disc bound, when I was just using a planner, I felt um, too anxious to use stamps. I know that sounds kind of weird, but like when you have a planner, you know, say you have, you're on like one specific week and you use a stamp and you like mess it up and like you, you know, you drag it and you, you mess it up when you're putting the stamp down, then, you know, you're going to have to find a way to cover it. And if you mess up even more, you want to change something like the whole week is ruined in your planner. But when you're making your own layouts, if I screw up royally, like if I absolutely despise that week's layout that I've done, if I screw up with all my stamps, I just pull the paper out of the disbound, throw it away and start over. So... <laughs> That's, uh, it makes, it definitely lessens my anxiety. So I, uh, I thought that these would be really cool for making my own layouts. And I'm going to use them for next week, but I'm very excited that I found, um, that I found these. And again, they were with the, um, back to school stuff at Walmart. They were around $6. You get your ink pad and you get all these stamps. So now I have a little stamp collection. All right. So. That is, uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little Walmart and mini Dollar Tree haul. Again, I will be, um, posting videos. I'm going to do like a whole series on this MCR, uh, B6 project that I'm going to be working on. And even if you don't want to do something like that for a band, um, maybe it could spark ideas for you to do it for just like a scrapbook for maybe, you know, you have kids and you want to have like a book, um, to keep stuff in that for me, like, I just like the traveler's notebook system. I like being able to pull out the inserts, put in new things, make it totally customizable and not have it be this big giant book. You know, years and years ago when I was a young teenager, I had like my first scrapbook. And it was, you know, typical, like, really huge scrapbook. And I started using it. And I was like, this thing is just, I don't know. I just wasn't, like, in love with the system because it was just huge. And I couldn't, like, customize it as much. Like, um, I mean, you can customize a, a scrapbook. But, you know, it was, like, it was on, like, coils. And I couldn't really, like, yeah. So, anyway, um, I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys will tune in for that series and I will be um working on that next week I don't even have my cover yet for this TN um so um I'm just very very slowly getting things together I'm trying not to rush into it um I want to find the perfect cover 
So I don't want to just buy one just to just to buy one and, and have it here immediately. I want to take my time and look for the perfect one. So be sure to uh, hit the bell to turn on notifications so you'll be notified when I upload so you can see, um, you know, when those videos start going up and subscribe if you have not. I would really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you would like to see more. Again, it's just planning with Cass. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, appreciate you being here. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!